What's up, folks? Uh, Jared here, Pasadena Paranormal. Uh, we got a video here with Brent going over the Echo Box dictation. We uh, received a bunch of uh, questions asking about what type of app that we're using. Uh, it's not about the app, it's about the device, and this video will show you just what we're talking about when we say that. Uh, I think Brent did a good job on this video. Follow along if you're looking to use Echovox with Dictation. In theory, it's basically like the old Obulus uh, DDT board, only with the Echovox real-time EVP recorder, and not driven by energy fluctuations. So in the comments, if you have any questions, leave them there, give this a watch, and uh, hope this helps. All right, we're gonna try and do a controlled test to see how dictation works with Echovox 2.0. Uh, so I have Echovox 2.0 on a tablet. This tablet is in airplane mode. Not connected to the internet. Um, here's our speed controls. I'm not going to change speed controls or mic gain settings. That's how I have them set. So throughout this test, I will not change that. Auto blend is enabled as well as echo. Zero second delay on echo. Mic gain is turned down to kind of restrict echo a bit. So what we're going to do is I have a noise gate pedal in line. So we're coming from echo box into noise gate, from noise gate into speaker. We're gonna see how dictation picks up what the echo box puts out to the speaker first without the noise gate active, and then we'll activate the noise gate and see how it does. This is a Samsung cell phone, Galaxy, I don't remember what number, uh, but on it it has uh, an app called S Note. It was not downloaded, it came with the phone. This phone is also in airplane mode um, and has also been factory reset and there's no SIM card. So it really has nothing to gain from outside sources as far as, as, far as vocabulary goes. What it has already established in it is pretty much what it has to go off of for dictation. So I'm gonna start this S Note app. I'm gonna start a new one text. I'm going to activate microphone for dictation. I'm going to turn that dictation off for a moment while I'm speaking. So again, I'm going to do echo box without the noise gate through this speaker. See how dictation responds. So first thing we're going to do is turn this speaker on. You should hear the static coming from the echo box. Alright, so the, the auto blend is not yet started but you'll hear the static is actually from the mic being on. So if I turn this mic gain up, echo, echo, you can hear that the echo box app has already uh, implemented the mic to create an echo loop. So just key there. You don't need the auto blend. You can create an echo loop just with the echo box to see if you can get live EEPs. But we're gonna look to see how all of it plays together. So I'm gonna leave the mic gain down pretty low. I may change that a little bit for part of this control test. All right, I'm gonna let it run for about a minute without the noise gate active and see how dictation picks all that up. So let me just get all this situated. Kind of going up just a little bit. All right, here we go.
So that was roughly a minute just from the Echo Box. As is, the noise gate's off, so it just passes it through. It's not affecting this device, is not affecting the sound that's coming out of this speaker at all. So essentially, it was just like this wasn't even there. And we see how uh, dictation responded to it. So, actually, I'll just leave it like that. Um, now, what we want to do is turn the noise gate on and see if it actually improves what we hear and therefore also what dictation can hear. So dictation is going to work essentially like our brain. It's going to take what it knows is a, sounds like a word and apply text to it. So it can be tricked just like us. Um, this is not foolproof. This is a test to see if this works and this is a baseline. So, you know, although spirits can travel I believe ship spirits can travel in and out of homes and everywhere um, I'm not claiming that my home has any activity so we're gonna call this a baseline um, to just of a how does dictation act respond to the echo box in a non-active situation so now we're gonna turn the speaker back on we hear the static Activate noise gate, and that static goes away. So, it essentially did just eliminate quite a bit that echo. Let's turn the echo, I mean, let's turn the mic gain up. Echo, echo, echo. So, really, what we did is we eliminated the echo in there, um, but we can take this, and there's the echo. All right, so that's our control here. So, I'm going to turn the mic gain back down. We're gonna try and find a happy medium for this to work. Uh, that makes it easier for us and the dictation to hear, uh, but still allows the functionality of the Echo Box app in full. So right now we know we can't hear the echo coming through, neither can this. No speed settings have been changed. And let's see what happens. Here we go. Uh, 
All right, so with that test, I definitely felt like I was able, able to make it easier to hear and understand. Uh, I, that. I, I also was able to turn the mic gain up uh, quite a bit here to improve what is ha well, what is coming out. So through that echo, it seemed like when I turned that up, it did start picking up more words. Now, this is not much. It's a lot of simple text, short syllable words, which makes sense to what we'd expect to hear um, because but the um it is this so you know those are words that are easy to put together with phonemes um so with this and i have the noise gate set to with this around that 40 mark right above i'm sorry negative 20 negative 20 that negative 20 mark and there's the settings i put for uh, Echo Box 2.0, mic gain speed controls. So, there you go. Good little test. I think it definitely helped uh, improve everything. I turned the speaker off, so why not hear in static now? Um, improved sound. So, ready for testing on in the field.